The most valuable and rarest materials in the world tend to be expensive. Some of them come with a high price tag because of their unreachability and rareness. Although there are some materials that are preposterously expensive and even stretches up to priceless tag. Starting off with the cheapest material in our list is gold and it's $36 per gram. Just for the record, if you see a person wearing a gold or yourself, the little gold was formed in a place like this, supernova. Imagine every gold you see on Earth had traveled trillions of miles across space, dropped on Earth and our people are wearing it. Because of its heavy conductivity, it's also used in different electronics. For example, Apple recovered 1000 kilograms of gold from broken iPhones in just 2015 and it's worth 40 million dollars. The next one is platinum and it's 38 dollars per gram. Platinum is one of the world's Earth's rarest metals and it's highly valued among many jewelry and gemology connoisseurs. To refine just one ounce of pure platinum, around 10 tons of ore must be mined. The refining process also takes up around 6 months to complete. This is one of the reasons why platinum jewelry tend to be a little more expensive than the gold ones. Just like gold, platinum was also made in supernova explosions and collisions of two neutron stars and thrown off to interstellar space, a very rare occurrence in the galaxy. Just recently in 2017, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory detected a neutron star merger. According to the estimates, this neutron star collision produced around 200 Earth's masses of pure gold and 500 Earth's masses of platinum. That's ridiculously huge amounts in human scale. Moving on to human manufactured material methamphetamine aka meth and it's $90 per gram. You might be familiar with this drug especially if you have watched Breaking Bad. It's an illegal most addictive drug that causes adverse changes in the brain structure and function and can damage neurons in the central nervous system. Meth, unlike other drugs, is not found in nature but is manufactured using chemicals and ingredients found in over-the-country drugs and fertilizers. One of the most disturbing facts is the commercial sale of rhino horns. There is one country that rhino horns are so popular and that country is Vietnam. The country's appetite for rhino horn is so great that it's $100 per single gram. Rhino horns are made of keratin. It's a similar type of protein that makes up fingernails and hair. In traditional Chinese medicine, it's considered a life-saving medicine. There is a rumor that imbibing rhino horn powder had cured a Vietnamese politician's cancer and other mysterious Harry Potter level stuff and that tremendously increased rhino horn demand. And right now rhinos are on the brink of extinction. The next useful yet dangerous material is plutonium and it is $6,000 per gram. Plutonium is a radioactive element derived from uranium and can be found in the hearts of nuclear reactors. Also, it has been used as a source of energy on space missions. The Voyager 1 probe, for example, has plutonium batteries which haven't failed to this day and are set to keep powering the probe well into 2025, which will be 48 years. The next gemstone is Painite and it's $9,000 per gram and can fetch up to $300,000. The reason is the main valuation criteria for all gems such as diamonds and minerals are often summarized as the four C's. Carrots, color, clarity and cut. So this is why prices for diamonds and gemstones fluctuate even though their prices in grams stay the same. In 2005, Guinness Book of World Records declared painite as the world's rarest gemstone and mineral. As of 2004, there were fewer than 25 known painite crystals and now can only be found in Myanmar. Next gemstone is Taifate and it's $20,000 per gram. Taifate is not very familiar to many due to how rare it is. In fact, it's so scarce, it's considered to be a million times rarer than a diamond. There are less than a dozen of Taifate stones known to exist, color ranging from red to purple. The originally discovered Taifate weighed 1.419 carats. Part of this material was analyzed and the remainder was recut into a gem of 0.55 carat. Taifate gemstones are so rare that a sole discovered ones would fill a half a cup. The next is tritium and it's $30,000 per gram. A tritium is a radioactive form of hydrogen. It's produced naturally in the upper atmosphere when cosmic rays strike air molecules. The weight of a small paperclip is 1 gram and tritium with the weight of a small paperclip costs the same as Tesla Model 3 car. The next one is diamond. It's starting from $55,000 up to $108,000 per single gram. Despite the fact that it's not the rarest one on earth, it's the most expensive gemstone. Most natural diamonds have ages between 1 billion and 3.5 billion years. 
Most were formed at a depth of 150 and 250 kilometers in the Earth's mantle, although few have come from as deep as 800 kilometers. When it's raining on Earth, we have water falling down, but in Uranus and Neptune, it rains solid diamonds. Their oceans are crushed by the pressures of millions of times more intense than the air pressure at Earth's sea level, and that's how diamonds are formed. Next one is Californium, and it costs $27 million per single gram. Californium is a radioactive and heaviest element in weighable amounts. It doesn't naturally occur on Earth. To create it, you need either a particle accelerator or nuclear reactor. Oxford startup just recently sold endohedral fullerene for $167 million per gram. Endohedral fullerene can be used for building a small portable atomic clock, which will be the world's most accurate form of timekeeping. They are used in GPS. Signals travel at a speed of light to satellite and back, so timings of signals must be extremely precise. A single microsecond error can affect by 300 meters on the ground. An endohedral fullerene can make your mobile phone into an atomic clock. Thus, it gets the honor of the second most expensive material in the world. And finally, the most expensive material in the world is antimatter, and it's $67.5 trillion per single gram. The country that has the biggest economy in the world, the United States, has $18 trillion of GDP. Not a country, but the entire GDP of the world is around $78 trillion. Antimatter with a weight of a small paperclip, which is 1 gram, is virtually the same price of the world's GDP. Technically, antimatter is composed of antiparticles. Making 1 gram of antimatter would require 25 million billion kilowatt hours of energy. Antimatter could be used as a fuel for the interplanetary or interstellar travel. And hopefully, at the end of this century, people will be cruising on the way to other stars using antimatter as a battery. At least antimatter has a price tag. But there is a material which is so precious that it's literally priceless. In the fairly recent past, it has been the cause of quite a remarkable violence, and its recorded history is literate with owners who have been blinded, poisoned, tortured to death, burned in oil, threatened with drowning, crowned in molten lead, and even relieved of their genitals, bludgeoned to death with bricks and stabbed to death by the members of their family. And that material is 105 karat Kohinoor diamond. Like we call, Albert Einstein is a definition of genius, Bill Gates is a definition of richness, Mona Lisa is a definition of painting. Likewise, the Kohinoor is a definition of diamond. It has been on the numerous royal crowns of the empires. Since the Middle Ages, people have been fighting for this exact diamond. It has a notorious past. Right now, it's comfortably sitting on the crown of Queen Elizabeth in London. Countries like India, Pakistan, and Afghanistan are claiming that it belongs to them and claiming back from the UK. And I don't see the UK giving it back anytime soon. Thanks for watching, support channel on Patreon, it will help to increase the quality in the videos. I had been preparing 3 videos for you guys that are coming up soon. If you like the videos, please do subscribe and hit the like.